Last time on Wannabe. Excuse me, Sam? Could you step in my office? I'm suspending you for two weeks. Hey, this is Ella. I can't come to the phone right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hi, I just had a weird day, so I was wondering if you wanted to, like, hang out or something. Just call me back when you get this. Bye. Hey, I'd love to grab some food and catch up. Brunch at the Bluebird Cafe at 11? Hey, sorry I'm... Ben! Hi! So, wait, are you two back together? For real this time? I have to go now. Uh, can she be happy for me? No, I can't, Ella. Because Ben doesn't care about you. Not, not like I can Sam, people are starting to stare. Right. Bye. I got in my car and started driving home. I stayed with her through everything, but when my life went to shit, she was nowhere to be found. Then suddenly a light bulb moment. I sped up the car, ran to the bedroom, plugged the flash drive into my laptop. How safe are abortions? Planned Parenthood near me. Username, The Ella Dennings. Password, Winston Churchill. Time for a new post. Listening to a Purple Crayon Productions broadcast. And this is Wannabe, written and directed by Sophia Varnai. Featuring Tara Schomer, Mia Moko, Connor Breen, Sophia Sandoval Ferris, Elliot Varnai, and Maggie Weir. We go walking in the distance, looking for a stranger, looking for attention, fighting passion, burning in the soul of the heart. Young lovers revel in the fury, teenage souls don't need to hurry. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Beyond News. It's me, Claire Curtis, your favorite reporter of all things Hollywood. And today we have some breaking news about internet celeb Ella Dennings. You might have heard of her before, but what you probably haven't heard about is the abortion she had just a few months ago. That's right. Yesterday evening, a post appeared across all her social media pages with Planned Parenthood clinic receipts, incriminating Google search history, and text conversations with her boyfriend, Ben McIntyre, that suggest he never found out about it. Until now, that is. Ella has since deleted the post and claims it was the work of a hacker, but has yet to verify or refute the claims made about her. Ben also has yet to release a statement. Of course, it's a woman's right to choose, but should she have kept it a secret? And who was behind the leak? We'll keep you guys up to date. And as always, let us know what you think in the comments down below. It had been 18 hours since I hit post. She hadn't called, she hadn't answered my concerns, texts. She hadn't posted anything. 20 hours later, still no reply. What was happening? Was Was she okay? 29 hours, it had been 29 hours of the world buzzing with her name and she wasn't picking up the phone. Was something wrong? It had to be, otherwise she definitely would have called me, right? So what was I gonna do, nothing? Leave her alone, maybe in danger? If she got murdered by like a crazy rogue paparazzi, it would be my fault. Or, or I could check on her. That would be the right thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. Starting directions to the office. Okay, the door was locked, but I knew it would be. Luckily, my ID badge hadn't been disabled. The fluorescent lights shuttered on, casting an eerie glow on the desk. Swivel chairs, mugs of pens, some photos. I made my way to my computer. 
eyeing the surveillance camera. I was just reaching for the mouse to click on Ella's file when... Hello? Shoot, I forgot about Marcus, our overnight security. Sam? Hi, Marcus. Sorry, I just realized I left, um, headphones here, so I'm gonna grab those. At 11.30 at night? Yup. Okay. You good now? Yup. Sorry. Uh, bye. Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped for. But it wasn't gonna stop me. I cared about Ella, and now it was time to prove it. Back in the car. And outside Ella's house. I had my pepper spray in hand. My Swiss army knife was in my back pocket, just in case. Okay, here we go. I walked toward the front door. All the lights were off. Her car was in the driveway, so she hadn't left. Unless someone had taken her. The door was locked, but you know what probably wasn't? The window right next to it. Okay, I was in. Ironically, I finally felt like a real-life spy only after being suspended from the NSA. But back to the point. I looked around the living room. No furniture was tipped over. There was no blood anywhere. So, I moved to the kitchen. It was all clear too. What was that? I tiptoed toward the bedroom. If she wasn't there, she was long gone. Done for. And just as I placed my hand on the doorknob. Ah! Shh. Ah! Oh, my eyes! Oh my god. Ella? Sam? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What the hell is wrong with you? You need to wash out your eyes. Why are you in my house? I was worried about you. So you pepper sprayed me? You hit me on the head with a frying pan. Just let me help you wash out your eyes. I promise it'll hurt less. Fine. I never actually used pepper spray before. I find that hard to believe. What's that supposed to mean? You broke into my house, Sam. I told you I was worried about you. You weren't answering any of my texts. Normal people don't break and enter because someone ignores them for two days. I never said I was normal. Fair point. Yeah, sorry. I've... It's just been a tough couple of days. I heard. And after that brunch, I just didn't know if you'd want to hear from me. It seems like a lot of people don't anymore, so. And uh, you were right, by the way, about Ben. He is an asshole. Sorry. I just, I felt like it was meant to be, you know, with the party and, and all of our history. Uh, but then he dumped me, so I guess it wasn't. Boys are stupid. I, I probably would have done the same thing, though. I mean, like, the hate mail and the comments that I've been getting are unreal. <laughs> I'm a liar, I'm a baby killer, I'm a whore, and, and my parents, my parents are so scared and disappointed. Like, the other day, my mom tells me that someone left a dead animal outside our house, which is like, I mean, it's like disturbing. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I, I still should have called you. I mean, you're like the only good thing in my life right now. I don't know about that. I'm not kidding. I, I, everything else has gone way out of control, and you... Ella, I invited Ben to your party. Huh? I logged into your Facebook, and I invited him. Wait, Ben, I had no idea he'd break your heart again. I just wanted to figure out what was going on with you guys. Why do you care? And I didn't just run into you at yoga class. I knew you'd be there, and I really just wanted to see you. I, I took things too far. I realized that, and I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you any of this. I just don't think I can lie to you anymore. I, I care too much. And I feel like such an idiot because you're, you're real and you've been crying. So I just need to tell you that 
I found out about your abortion and I leaked it. How did you find out? Um, your search history got flagged and your house has lots of cameras and microphones. So what you're saying is that you've been stalking me? No, no, I haven't. I mean, kind of, but I was just doing my job. Yes, I took it too far, but I'm not responsible. That's not me. So what's your job then? Nothing, it doesn't matter. It's just computer coding and stuff. That is bullshit, Sam. I am asking you to please just tell me the truth. All right. I have an office job at the NSA. So I can see most things about a person, like their search history and their location and who they call. And I gather information. If anything about them seems suspicious, I start an investigation on them. So I was suspicious? You were flagged because of the abortion stuff. But after watching you for so long, I realized I mostly just liked getting to know you. And we had this history. So has any part of this been real? Yes. Oh my god, yes. They don't even know we're talking. None of this is allowed. I just care about you, like, a lot. And I <sighs> really messed it up. Wow. I feel so stupid right now. I, I let a nobody from the government ruin my life. Like, you're not even just a stalker. You are so much worse. You are like everyone else. You hate how you look. You're bored with your life, and you wish you were somebody you know nothing about. I know you better than you think. Is that why you have such a crush on me? No, I thought it was sweet that someone really cared, but now it's just gross. But if I... Oh my God, get out of my house! No, I'm not leaving. You need me. Fine, if you won't leave, then I'm going to call for help. What? You, you can't do that. I can do whatever I want. What we didn't know was the authorities were already there, parked outside the house. It'll come as no surprise that Margot had suspected something was going on for a while now. Because if there's ever anything you want to talk to me about... Everything's fine, Margot. Okay. You've just seemed preoccupied. We have a responsibility to do the right thing. But she only managed to put the pieces together when I said... So, where was this party? And why wasn't I invited? It was at my friend Ella's house. You don't know her. Why does that name sound so familiar? Maybe because that wasn't the first time I'd mentioned Ella to Margot? What case are you on? What? Um, Ella Dennings? Nothing too fishy, just some minor flags. First things first, Margot, we need to get her out of this office. Then we can keep an eye on her and we can see what she does next. And I basically did the worst possible thing. Sam? Hi, Marcus. Sorry, I just realized I left um, headphones here, so I'm gonna grab those. At 11.30 at night? Yup, bye. This is security. We need eyes on Sam. But anyway, back to the present. Ella, put the phone down. No. I had to stop her. Suddenly, I found myself pulling the knife out from my back pocket. What is that? It's... I guess it's a Swiss Army knife. Okay... Team, keep your eyes on Sam and get ready to move. We stood there for a minute, looking at each other. Neither of us said anything. Then she ran at me and grabbed onto the knife's handle. We pulled it back and forth. She kicked, I yelled, and finally I made one sharp tug towards myself. The blade slipped across her palm and she screamed. Ah, my hand, you cut me. What? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Ah, it's like bleeding a lot. I rushed toward her. This had not been part of the plan. I set the knife down to look at the bloody fist when suddenly, ha, got it. It was in her other hand. Now you are gonna sit down and stay there until help gets here. And then you'll be gone and I will forget this ever happened. Wait a minute. I don't think you will. Well, it's definitely gonna take a while. You need to hang up the phone. Come on, why isn't this stupid thing working? They're not gonna let you walk away knowing all this. You aren't safe either. Put the phone down. So... We're in this together now. Open up! 
We've got to get out of here. Sam, what is happening? Come on. I am not going anywhere with you. Please, Ella, I need you to trust me. This was going to be a long night. Get it, girl!